Hey guys, welcome back to World Mechanics. Uh, in today's video, guys, uh, we're going to be working on a Hyundai Elantra. A common thing, guys, for those Hyundai's 1.8 engine. If you ever have one, I'll recommend to uh, <laughs> to avoid them to some extent, or uh, 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 even less, you know, that repair has been done. We bought this car, you know, with only uh, it had only 67,000 miles. We put less than 3,000 miles, and that thing developed a ticking noise. So let's start it now, and I'm going to show you what it is. And in most of the cases, people say uh, Hyundai charges for a whole short block, pretty much new engine almost. Okay, and okay, here now the ticking thing. And when it's cold, it's even louder. Okay. So we can hear that, okay, right here, tuck, 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 that. that's a tick, guys, right there. So what what I found out that they developed that around 70,000 miles, if you're lucky, a little bit later. Some people even developed it with only 40,000 miles. And uh, let me show you now, one thing that could be with that thing is... Uh, piston slab, okay, the piston where it connects to the connecting rod, that bolt there... The, the piston wrist, okay, develops a play and you're going to hear that tick. That could be one thing, that's what most of the people were told when they go to the dealership. Another thing, it could be hydraulic uh, tensioner for the timing chain or uh, crankshaft, uh, crankshaft bearing, but uh, ro road bearing, but we hope that's not the case. So, uh, what we'll go, go ahead and do today, guys, we'll remove the engine cover, okay. And we're going, uh, some people say it's a uh, cylinder armor one that develops that tick. Okay, and we're going to pull, uh, without using any computers or anything like that, we'll do it on our car. We're going to pull the ignition coil, okay, on cylinder number one. Okay, and when you do that, okay, we're going to start the car now, and we will see, okay, if the tick is... Um, is so so noticeable. Okay, let's see now. Okay, let's give it a little bit of gas. Okay, this one, it's it's still there. Okay, let's go ahead and try cylinder number two as well. Okay, we need to pull that thing push down okay let's okay it's disconnected now let's go ahead and start it I can I can still hear it it's still there so usually usually it should go uh, go away a little bit not all the way but uh, if it's a uh, uh, piston slap okay it it should reduce, okay. Let's go ahead and try cylinder number three. Okay, it's still knocking, but it's knocking a little bit less now. Okay, and this is number four now. Okay, we disconnected cylinder number four. We'll see if that causes anything. Okay, it's still there. It's still there, guys, so... Let's go ahead, actually, okay. We're going to go ahead. And what we're going to do now... Uh, another thing is you can disconnect the injectors one by one, okay. So it doesn't spray uh, fuel. We won't recommend doing that anyways, disconnecting anything with the car running, but it's our own vehicle and for demonstration of video we can do that. So we'll go ahead and start the car now. Okay, again. Okay, still ticking noise. I'm going to disconnect the injector. Okay, cylinder number one. Disconnect it. Now you can hear that it definitely reduces a little bit the noise. Most people say they have problem with cylinder number one. Row well, number two did the same thing because the, the RPMs drop, so it's really sometimes 
head up the tail. So when the RPMs drop, you can definitely hear it less, but that's why some people say that if you drop the RPMs, actually, you hear it less. And when it gets warm, you can hear it less too. In cold weather, you'll be able to notice it more. Next, we're going to change our oil, see if that fixes any. We're going to, what we're going to do, actually, we'll use a 5W30 oil instead of 520. Synthetic oil, okay. That has that smoothening technology here, Castro, and a Bosch premium filter, so we'll see if that fixes the problem. If not, guys, we'll, we'll take the whole thing apart. Don't worry about that. We'll take the whole engine. We'll find the problem. 200 videos will be made on that car, so if you need anything, it will be, it will be on our channel. So we'll just finish the video once we change the oil. So 69,000 miles, engine knock. BMW guys that we have here with 192,000 miles haven't had any problems with the engine so how that sounds I know the original owner I found the original owner of that car because I got it from an auction they contacted me because they saw it on YouTube and uh, I just I just can't believe it guys that's why BMW and Mer Mercedes are built a little bit better in my opinion than Hyundai of course our opinions can differ so we're putting the new oil in and see if that's going to fix the problem now. We're almost ready. So we changed the oil. You can use, you can check your manual guys. You can use 5W30, 1030. We use 5W30 and this one recommends 5W20 on the cap. But the manual recommends, depending on the climate, you can go a little bit thicker oil. We changed the oil, we started the car, let it run for a few minutes. And the knock is significantly less, almost gone. I cannot hear it at all now. It's getting less and less. So definitely, uh, definitely ticker oil will fix the problem for us for now. If something happens in the past, we have a problem, we'll have the video on the channel. We'll have more than 200 videos, the whole car will be taken apart. Make sure you subscribe and if you have any questions, just drop a comment. See you guys next time.